The Humanitarian OpenStreetMap team is a nonprofit organization that focuses on using OpenStreetMap, the free, editable, and open map of the world, for humanitarian response and economic development. HOT helps organize and coordinate OpenStreetMap projects for humanitarian purposes, things like mapping in response to disasters, crises, famines, and more. Serving as an interface between the OpenStreetMap community and humanitarian organizations, HOT works with OpenStreetMap volunteers, both remote or armchair mappers, and people and organizations on the ground in the affected countries. HOT first started mapping in response to disasters, but is now working on getting mapping done in vulnerable areas before disasters happen, so there's already good data available that anyone, responders, locals, and governments, can use. HOT also works to improve software and training for OpenStreetMap, organizes and supports local community mapping projects, builds partnerships with other organizations, and works on longer-term projects like training governments, nonprofits, and students on mapping and open data. HOT was formed after the 2010 Haiti earthquake, which showed that OpenStreetMap data could be useful for disaster response and international development. The country went from virtually blank to one of the best map countries in the world in only a few days, thanks to volunteers from around the world who trace satellite images for OpenStreetMap. HOT has worked on numerous disasters and events, such as mapping affected villages during the West Africa Ebola crisis, and in the Philippines after Typhoon Haiyan, mapping roads that the Red Cross and others used to deliver aid. They also work to map areas that are vulnerable to disasters, like Kathmandu, Nepal, and Jakarta, Indonesia. Mapping on OpenStreetMap through HOT is a great way to volunteer because the work directly helps those responding to disasters and crises around the world, helping people and saving lives. You can get involved, learn to map, and make a real contribution in less than 30 minutes.